Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the incredible world of modern naval warfare as we explore the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150, the first ever guided missile frigate of the Philippine Navy. This advanced warship marks a significant milestone in the Philippines' journey toward naval modernization, representing a giant leap from older vessels to a modern, multi-role surface combatant designed to operate in high-threat environments. Let's explore its origins, capabilities, design features, and the broader significance it holds for the Philippine Maritime Forces. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is the lead ship of her class and was built by Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI of South Korea under the Frigate Acquisition Project of the Philippine Navy. Launched in May 2019 and commissioned into service on July 10, 2020, the ship is named after Dr. Jose Rizal, the Philippine national hero, a symbol of patriotism and intellectual courage. This vessel brings advanced warfare capabilities into the hands of the Philippine Navy, allowing it to better patrol and defend the nation's vast maritime territory, especially in contested waters such as the West Philippine Sea. From a structural and design standpoint, BRP Jose Rizal is based on the proven HDF-2600 design developed by HHI, which itself is derived from South Korea's Incheon class frigates. However, it has been customized to meet the specific needs of the Philippine Navy. The ship is approximately 107 meters long, has a beam of 14 meters, and a displacement of around 2,600 tons. It is powered by a combined diesel and diesel CODAD propulsion system, using two MTU diesel engines that provide a top speed of 25 knots and a cruising range of about 4,500 nautical miles at 15 knots. This ensures long-range deployment without the need for frequent refueling. In terms of crew capacity, the vessel can accommodate around 110 personnel, including officers and enlisted sailors. Habitability has been a strong point in the Jose Rizal class design with modern accommodations, a medical bay, and mission planning rooms, making it more livable and functional during extended operations. Its endurance and sea-keeping ability enable it to take part in joint international naval exercises, extended patrol missions, and maritime sovereignty operations. The true strength of the BRP Jose Rizal lies in its state-of-the-art sensors, weapons, and combat systems. It is equipped with a sophisticated combat management system CMS, developed by Hanwha Systems, which integrates all onboard sensors and weapons for real-time data sharing and threat engagement. For surface and air surveillance, the ship utilizes a Hensel TRS 3D air and surface search radar, which is capable of tracking multiple aerial and surface targets simultaneously. On the electronic warfare side, it features radar and electronic support measures RESM, that help detect and classify enemy emissions, enhancing situational awareness and survivability. A hull-mounted sonar provides underwater detection, though it can be upgraded with a towed array sonar for better submarine hunting capabilities. For its offensive punch, BRP Jose Rizal is equipped with a 76mm OTO Malara Supra rapid gun as its main weapon capable of firing at both surface and aerial targets. Secondary armament includes two 30mm Aselsan Smash remote-controlled weapon systems, ideal for fast attack craft or close-in threats. It also has provisions for surface-to-surface -surface missiles, specifically the South Korean-made SSM-700 KC Star, which is an anti-ship missile with a range of over 150 kilometers. Though not installed at the time of commissioning, the ship is also designed to carry a vertical launch system VLS, for surface-to-air missiles and a close-in weapon system CIWS, for point defense, highlighting the future upgrade potential. Anti-submarine capabilities are enabled through its twin triple torpedo launchers, compatible with lightweight torpedoes such as the K-745 Blue Shark. A helideck and hangar are installed at the aft section of the vessel to accommodate a naval helicopter like the A-159 Wildcat which enhances surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, and search and rescue operations. The ship is also fitted with RHIBs, rigid hull inflatable boats, for boarding operations and maritime interdiction missions. The ship's modern communication suite ensures secure command and control links with naval headquarters and other allied units. It includes data link systems that allow real-time coordination with friendly ships and aircraft during joint operations. This feature is vital in today's network-centric warfare environment, where shared situational awareness determines the outcome of engagements. 
Since its commissioning, the BRP José Rizal has played an active role in both national and international maritime activities. It participated in the Rim of the Pacific Exercise RIMPAC 2020, held in Hawaii, marking the first time a Philippine Navy vessel joined the world's largest naval exercise. Despite the pandemic, this participation showed the Philippine Navy's readiness to work alongside major naval powers and learn from multilateral training operations. Domestically, BRP Jose Rizal regularly patrols the West Philippine Sea, contributing to the assertion of the country's sovereign rights over its exclusive economic zone EEZ. The ship is often deployed in support of humanitarian assistance and disaster response HADR, operations, maritime patrols, anti-piracy missions, and escort duties. It plays a strategic role in upholding maritime security and protecting the nation's maritime interests against external threats. The acquisition and operation of the BRP Jose Rizal reflect the Philippine government's commitment to building a credible defense posture. It signals a shift from a brownwater navy focused on coastal defense to a more capable force that can project power and maintain stability in the region. The ship's presence also sends a clear message of deterrence to potential aggressors, especially amid increasing tensions in the South China Sea. The development of the Jose Rizal class frigates also stimulates local shipbuilding and naval support industries, creating a platform for future collaboration and potential transfer of technology. The lessons learned from operating such a modern vessel will inform future acquisitions and capability upgrades, contributing to the long-term modernization goals of the armed forces of the Philippines. As the flagship of the Philippine Navy, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 stands as a proud symbol of national defense and maritime sovereignty. It embodies technological progress, international cooperation, and the spirit of modern patriotism. With its blend of advanced weaponry, sensors, and operational flexibility, it is a major asset not just in terms of firepower but also in building diplomatic ties through regional and global exercises. So that wraps up our deep dive into the BRP Jose Rizal. If you're fascinated by modern warships and naval power, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss our latest videos on defense and military tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.